Starts to close those second chance opportunities. Refuses the ball screen. Look how easy this is, though. Oh, decimating off the dribble. Carving area around the rim. Uh, just the ability to duck in there like that, that can't happen at the major college level. You've got to be up on top, do your homework early, prepare, force the guy to go back, throw them, make them force it into a lob. And the foul was on Jeff Jordan. That's his first. Veronica, 65% free throw shooter. The offensive rebound comes to the big man second. The ball is knocked away by Jordan again. McCamey leads a break. Got All numbers here. Gray. Yep, but, two on one. Lead. Oh. Good foul. Well, Bruce is really, he's in, they, they're just calming him down over there. Jaron Tower trying to calm the coach down. Yeah, this is all out hustle. Illinois play competing right now. He did get that left arm. I don't know if Olympic had it clean either, you know? Hey, so, it looked like, yeah, he was. Uh, sort of fumbled it a little bit. What a good stroke at the line. And the Zags uh, build their lead to 14. Has been as high as 21. Well, it looks like the Illini have a wake-up call now. They're much more immersed in the game. Quality of play is improved. Rebound. He comes down. Illinois. And Jordan's really the guy that's got, given them a little spark. You know, a little more excitement. Yeah, he plays tough aggressive yeah. defense. Jeff Jordan. And Davis filling it up. He can get you some numbers. Sacre just loading up. Steps. Oh, three seconds. Right, three second violation. A parking violation in the city. Call Mayor Daly. <laughs> He's into it. Great interior defense and the story with Tisdale on the Pines. It just eliminates your big scoring ability. Guy that can ring the bell. And Bolden, a 15-point-a-game score, also a terrific free-throw shooter, 85%. So he'll be heard from a long way to go on this one. Zag still up. It's down to 12. Was 21 their advantage. A little bit of a zone look now. It's got a 2-3 look, but at times it's shaped to where your people are. Forced a deep shot. See if they can get active on the glass. Flash and turn. Well, there's not a lot inside for these guys. Billy Alana, that's a big nice job. Nice oh, flash. Yeah. Made himself available. And a good entry pass. And Jeff Jordan as well. And the Alana methodically right back in this game. They've got a 21 point advantage for the Zags down to 10. Ray. Good miss earlier, now having problems with Illinois really contesting for the ball. I'll tell you, they are back in this game, though. They're very aggressive. Ten at this point with three to go, but the ball movement, it's all because of Davis. He'll give it and then make himself available into the lane. Right there, turn, shoot, nylon. A ten-footer, we've seen him deep, we've seen him modest range. And Bolden ready to inbound the ball now for Gonzaga. Yeah, Bruce is going to have to get a shower after this game. He has been all over it. <laughs> He's had his game face on. For yeah. Well, of course, when your team plays as poorly as they did early, it just changes your whole personality. Look at this. Ray. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was too easy. Oh. Uncontested at the rim. Against a team whose calling card has been defense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, they've been extraordinary. Once again, Davis, the pop for a high-low. Louisville at Kentucky is coming up today as a second college game on CBS. Is now a turnaround jumper. Missed the mark. Good hustle here. I'll tell you, Bill, a lot of uh, the comeback of Illinois is really ignited by when Jordan came in the game, tipping at balls. That a big spark. A great made entry passes, dribble drive. And Keller's another guy that's been solid. And again, Bruce has been searching. He's been forced to find some people. Well, Illinois likes so many teams uh, with those uh, hustle chart. Uh, the, you know what they're talking about now? Did Davis's ball hit the rim? I don't think it did. No. 
Yeah, you take a look at it. No, it was the dreaded air ball from our vantage point. Bruce has been the sixth man out there. So anyway, they're gonna they're gonna check it again. The uh, hustle chart they call it the Matto chart at Illinois after the late Matt Heldman, who was a key player on their '98 Big Ten championship team, lost his life in an auto accident. But points are awarded for steals, block shots, deflections, charges, taken loose balls. He was quite a kid too. Had the opportunity to do games, uh, quite a few in the Big Ten in those days. See, the first shot looked like it was clear; it didn't hit the rim. Anyone take another look? I guess. Well, they can go to the truth machine. The tape will tell the story with now 2.33 left to play in the first half. Yeah, see, it didn't hit anything from at least from my vantage point. Hit the glass on the other side. And Dick Carmel, the lead official, very well respected. A number of NCAA tournaments. Yeah, that's Dick. You can tell, you can tell the way coaches talk to certain officials with the level of respect. And the shot clock build down to eight here. Well, ball screen and big count. That helps. I still like to see him get in the lane. He's got great shoulders and upper body strength. Attack that rim. Junior guard Dimitri McKamey. Rebound. In and out. And rebound to the Illini. Oh, they are right there. They're right. Keller's really helped him at both ends. He has. Getting under 10. That it's a major hurdle psychologically. Harris, I believe, on the bump, but they're getting the ball to great spots. And I'm wondering if the zone is because of the uh, travel and maybe the potential, uh, the possibility of fatigue. Uh, a little hit in the shoulder, shake it big, and get the roll, but good opportunity for two. And the foul was on Stephen Gray of Gonzaga. Mike Davis at the free throw line. He's a comeback story this year. He's a junior from Alexandria, Virginia. He fractured his ankle in a workout in June, but is back in good form. Seven double doubles this year. He can do a great job on the glass as well. He was a prime mover in that win over Northwestern, 20 points and 17 rebounds earlier this week. Yeah, how about the job Bill Carmody has done? Well, that team highly respected. Lose Talented performers and still able to win the bell. Thompson, the point guard, does a great job for them. But they are getting the ball wherever they want. All movement, Mark Few talking about when we talked with him before the game, and they're moving the ball well. Now down to Zachary. Too easy. Rebound down to the aforementioned Amity Keller. 28 to play in the half. 10 point lead for Gonzaga. Led by as many as 21. Nice play by Paul. How about that? A neck ball on a jam. Whew. He read the defender. He's got Sacre. His eyes light up and just putting it down and attacking on that baseline. Right now, you got the big guy. You know you can go by him. A beautiful opportunity. Tough place to pick up that charge. The secondary defender was under the rim. Yeah, Dimitri Goodson. That was his first. Coming up on AT&T of the half, Tim Brando and Seth Davis will get you caught up in all the day's action, and Seth will tell you his top five college basketball moments of the decade. That's coming up on AT&T at the half. Well, there's some more back there. Talk Bill about getting it inside 10. Well, it's down to eight, and these Illini fans are up and they're loud. 19,000 strong in the United Center. Look whose hands were involved. Now they got a deflection. Wow. Well, Jordan got a piece of the ball, and they're saying no. And a big break for the Illini. Gonzaga didn't have a turnover for the first 14 minutes of this game, but they now have six turnovers. Take a look at this. Does he get a hand? I thought he did. Yeah, ball goes a different direction. Wow. And Bruce, they finally listened to him. Huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he's been begging. It's not Sunday, and he's got the cup out. And he's been selling hard. Yeah. And his team rallying back, and they've been good at that, coming from behind this season. And building their 9-4 record. Oh, almost steps. 
Three point Davis. try. Nice job by Davis. Though. Kept it alive. Fits into a nice hustle play. That killer release. Oh, remember this in the outdoor shot put. One of our guys took a shot down there. <laughs> Did they? There was a guy next to our guy. Uh, quick feet. Uh, house cameraman, maybe. Uh, one of the tough jobs in our industry, though, that baseline mini. Oh, ooh, man. Ooh. Wow. A lot, a lot of people could get hurt. Lalo's the man on the handheld camera. He's more concerned. Now, this is a trooper with the equipment than himself. Personal injury.